Hello, hello. I didn't expect to see that when I woke up. We've got a Trailblazer beta going on for tree stands and tripods, and I don't know if this is true, uh, but somebody posted what I think was a direct quote from EW saying there might be true elk out here, so I'm going to go look for those real quick before we do anything else. Um, but yeah, currently I've got literally nothing but the Mosin that calls for this map, and then tries tri stands, tripods and tree stands in my backpack, so that's going to be interesting, but... I want to be able to get a look at them, and I want to quickly scan here, see if there's any elk in sight, and then we're going to probably just throw a tree stand up, see what they look like. I don't see any elks. Oh, no. Hey, G-Man. Wait. You're not even at work yet. What an early boy. Elk track? No. But, I don't see any. So maybe while they're working their way in, because I did just change the time. We can try to put one of these boys up. Let's just get them both. So, tripod. Whoa. That's pretty steep to be. I mean, I'm kind of glad that it's going to allow it. That'd be a steep angle to sit on, though. Now, go up here. Oh, gosh. Wrong thing. Not bad. Nice little heightened platform. I like it. I don't like the lack of animals, but we'll get that figured out in a minute. Left shift, okay. So that's the same as the duck blinds then, the way to get out of them. And then, let's do... Ooh, wow, that detects trees from really far away. Alright. Hey... So, how do you do, like, the height and stuff? Oh, like that. All right. So, um, that's not a very good tree. Uh, Daniel Bad, thanks for subscribing, man. I want to find a tree where I can see over this way while we're doing this. I see a thing. I thought I saw a thing. I do see a thing. All right, if we can get a tree stand set up, we're going to get our first tree stand kill here in a minute. Uh, I'm sick, so I get to watch the stream lurking because I'm trying to find Maz. No worries, dude. Hope you feel better. That's no fun. Being sick is the big sad. Go over here. I'm kind of curious how they treat branches and stuff in this game. Ooh, actually. That might be pretty fine being over there like that. I like the audio. Oh, I can move around on it? Nice. <laughs> I like this. This is good. I think that's a buck back there, but... Can I go prone? No. I have to stay crouched, and that is probably good, because no one would ever actually lay down on a tree stand platform. Animals take a couple of minutes to show up at this lake in the morning. Yeah, usually. I should actually quickly scan over here, make sure there's no elky boys. Oh, there's a something. It's a deer. A deer. I think it's a doe. Well, I'm gonna try to yeet a shot. I'd like something broadside because Mo's and Frontal's usually not good. True black tail. This is already so cool. I know, dude. I like it. It's good stuff. I'm kind of impressed and also really happy with the distance that it detects a tree. Because that way you're not running around, like, testing every single tree. You figure it out pretty quickly as to where you can actually place it. Is he going to die? Yeet. First tree stand kill. How do I get out of here? <laughs> oh, it's E in this one. Interesting. So if I'm trying to spot something back behind me, that could be... I mean, you got to point right at the seat. But unless you're allowed to jump on a tree stand, I'm not sure why the difference but, either way, I think I'm going to leave that tripod back there, because that one actually seems reasonably useful. Oh, uh, hunting pressure. That, I don't know if that's actually a fourth of a normal one or not. It should be. But, is not sure. 
I'm trying to think of where else is a good area to hit elk early in the morning. We're going to try some spots, though. I've uh, been really enjoying your channel. Hope I can make it to all your streams. I appreciate it, man. I hope you can make it, too. The streams are usually the fun ones. I'm hoping to get live on Twitch later today, by the way. Uh, with some of this stuff. Looking for a, a true elk diamond boy, maybe, on the beta. Again, I'm not even sure if they are a thing. But I'm just going off a post in Discord. What was that? I heard something. Just tried it right by me. I'm sorry, Lucky. I have a dumb sleep schedule and I'm actually happy about it for once. I've been like super tired by like 10 o'clock. Dang it. I think I heard an elk go by. Oh. That is a true elk. They are in the game. Holy cow, look how insane that guy looks. Dude. I like this. I was also just over there. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay. Uh, if I fast travel, I want to shoot him out of the tripod. Let's go get the Blacktail. I probably don't have Consec because um, I had to put in the other save file into the beta so I'd have my stuff and all that. But we're going to go get him. Uh, who was that? John Watson, though. Welcome to the Super Schuster Club, man. Appreciate you joining up. If you're not in the Discord, you can join. Maybe one of the mods can throw the link to that in the chat. But, uh, yeah, hey. link up your YouTube to your Discord. You can get a special role over there. And welcome, man. Uh, Chris Vinson, thanks for subscribing, dude. Is the beta field, the, the beta, the trailblazer? It is only on PC, I think. I don't think they can do betas on, on console, unfortunately. How big was the update? Uh, I didn't even look. Two gigs? I do not remember. Maybe somebody in the chat can tell you. We have consec. Holy. All right. Let's uh, get over here. Try to hopefully not spook him. Aaron Eaton, thanks for the super chat. So incredibly stoked about this. Get us a diamond. I want to. That first elk, he looks so insane. I hope they don't all look like that. Because, of course, that's going to be a little bit ridiculous. But if that's kind of a rare thing for them looking that crazy, I'm going to be super happy. Okay, so he... I can't see where he was. Hmm. I may have spooked him by fast traveling, in which case he'll be back. Oh, something. No, I see him. He's right there. I don't know if I can get him out of the tripod, then. He's in a... a spot. No, that's not the same one. Alright, I just realized that I can be not dumb and use my collar. How about we do that? But that guy looks a lot more symmetrical, so that's good. Color. Equipping things before streams that happen that aren't planned. It's usually interesting. Let's see if we can get him in here. Have to go to an awards thing. I have, I have to wait to play. Oh no. That's not good. I believe they said no spook range for climbing into these things, so. They should not know we're here. I'm also kind of curious how close they're going to get. It should be interesting. Uh, I stayed up all night waiting for draw results for Nevada. Just got told I didn't draw anything. Ah. Uh, sorry to hear that, man. Hopefully next year. I don't know how your stuff works, but is that like sort of a preference thing? If you don't get drawn one year, you get more preference the next year? See, the bad thing is, since I can't see anything, I don't know if they're coming in or not. I'm just going to hit this like four times. Is this beta open to everyone? It's Trailblazer beta, yeah. I like just woke up, started to edit what was supposed to be today's video, and then someone posted in Discord, um, shout out to Matthew, I think that was his name. It was something like, we're holding a Trailblazer beta for tree stands and tripods, something about True Elk, and I was like, what? I don't know what kind of... Like, my initial reaction was, I don't know who this is, trying to, like, hack betas or something. And then I was like, oh, he probably copied and pasted that from something. And I went and looked, and I'm like, holy, I gotta get a stream going. <laughs> hey, Kyla. Uh, what's the weight and difficulty for a diamond elk? About 478 level 5. 478 kilos. Trying to get over here and see if they're actually coming in. There's a blacktail. 
I don't see them. I should have just shot that one when I had the chance. I wanted to get a tree stand kill. I'm gonna just sneak over here and see if I can see. They were a little less visible than I thought. Got my first diamond. It was a Truac Blacktail. Nicely done, man. Very good stuff. Uh, hey, John. Cheers, man. Love your content. Finally caught a live. I normally catch up on a night. Looking forward to the Red Deer Truac. Yeah, we were just talking about that uh, last night in Wreck and Ricky stream. That should be really, really good. They're going to look insane, some of the, hey. the non-symmetrical ones. That should be neat. I don't know if I just heard an elk or a deer. I heard a thing. Uh, Dylan Warner, thanks for subscribing, dude. When's this out on console? I think it's June 3rd for everything. I'm kind of surprised we're doing a Trailblazer beta knowing the release day. But, I... Um, yeah. I think that's the first time that's happened. Do you know I'm here? That's that three. Where's that wonky four? I want to kill that one. This is the only gun I have because I needed to uh, carry the tree stands and stuff. I don't know what to go for. I think I got to shoot him like in the head. There's something to my right as well. Yay. First true elk's down. I don't know where. Is that the four? Nope. Look at that little guy. That looks pretty good. I like that for a small elk. Still don't know where that other one went. I will find that. I have every intention of killing it. Not too bad. Some... A little bit of asymmetry. I don't like this... Like, it feels like they'd have better better brow tines at this size, but it could also be one that has particularly short ones. So we have main beam length, length of tines, and circumference. I thought they said that, um, that symmetry mattered. I don't know. I'm just going to probably literally tax every oak we kill today. Is that him? Yes, I think it is. Yes. <laughs> that guy looks so incredible. Look at that. That's basically a non-typical elk. I don't hunt elk. Is that something that could happen? I think it is. This seems like the kind of thing where they, they like knock some tines in velvet, basically. Or have an injury, maybe. You heckin' meme. No, you. Out here shooting elk with the Mosin because I wanted to carry my tree stands. You like how I'm almost whispering? <laughs> it's early. That's why I'm trying not to wake anybody up. Where'd he go? That's not him, is it? That's no, that tiny guy. Yeah. Hi. Let's see if I can hit this like three or four times. There he is. Oh, he's... Okay. If he's going to drink over there, I can probably go brain shot him. Hey, Ice Cube. It can happen, just not often. I hope this is a rare thing. Yeah, I might have got him interested in the call by accident. Not by accident. No, he's just drinking. He's in such a weird spot, but... I want to kill that one. You don't have to wake people up, but I want to? That seems rude. What a mean boy. Oh. That is wonky as hell. Like, there is all kind. Like, this beam is entirely different. I can appreciate the fact that there's actually such a difference in beam, like, shape and everything. Like I said, if it's a rare thing. I don't want to mess this up. I don't like the angle. Mosin best gun? You're right. It really is. 
I can probably get that. I'm going to let him pick his head up again, so I could have actually gotten the shot off, but I didn't know if he was going to pick his head up. I will find dead in a moment. Let's smoke this guy when he goes to drink again. Yeet. I'm so excited. That guy looks incredible. Uh, Gucci, welcome to the Super Juicer Club, man. Appreciate you joining up. Make sure you link up your YouTube to your Discord. If you're not in the Discord already, there's a link in the description to that. Look at that thing. This time? Like, I like this bendy thing. I feel like that's something that can happen. The brow tines are all crazy looking on this guy. Like I said, I hope it's something that doesn't happen very often, but... I like this. That one looks good. Okay. Again, hunting pressure. I've shot three animals. It's definitely... It's definitely an effect. It'd be way brighter than that in these areas. Okay. So. Hey. Um. Let's do some tree stand stuff. I think probably over here is going to be an easy spot to do one. Hey, Buck and Bear. What do you think about the true elk so far? Uh, I am stoked. That, uh, that one we just shot is nuts. Looks completely ridiculous, and I love it. Like I said, I, I want to see more. I hope that's a super rare thing for them to get that crazy looking, but it looked good. And Gucci, thanks for the super chat as well. Just bought a membership. I assume you mean the, the channel member one? And I appreciate it, dude. Just got a 958 diamond coyote. Nice, dude. Hey, bro, love your stuff. Always comes with some dope videos. What would be your honest opinion on a New Zealand map? I actually really want a New Zealand map. Um, I want, if it had like red deer, fallow deer, and honestly, whatever else, but just like more of them than Hirschfelden has, I'd be a happy camper. I'm going to adjust this. Bring my monitor up like that. Bring my mic up a little bit. There we go. Yay. Should I play Farming Sim or Classic? Mmm... Both. There was a YouTuber. I don't remember his name. I wish I did. But he did videos where like half of it was farming sim and half of it was either Call of the Wild or Classic. That was kind of a cool idea because he was like basically doing this thing where that was his livelihood was farming and then hunting was like his hobby. I like that. It was neat. Okay. Um... The whole idea here is I want to set a tree stand up here and then probably one other place and then come back in a little bit with a bow. So if they're feeding there, somewhere one of those trees I can probably set up. So I don't care about the deer right now. I'm going to spook them, but I'm going to come back. Hey, Battle Turkey. What did I miss? Um, we well, took a little bit of a look at tree stands and tripods, shot a blacktail doe out of a tree stand. Now we're going to go set up a tree stand to come back to here and hopefully get one of these bucks with a bow. But we just killed, like, a crazy-looking tree elk. It looks so cool. I was, like, over the moon with how cool that looked. How do I send the emoji? Are you talking about, like, the emojis you get for the channel member? If you click the, the little emoji button there in the chat, they should be, like, at the top. I think. Diamond level for Kudu. I downed a level 4, 949. So they can, I think, make it at level 3 if it's, like, the old ones. Before a uh, true rack update, I think. Because true rack update changed the necessary trophy rating or whatever. But now they pretty much have to be level 5. I think level 4 can make it really rarely. But that's anything that spawned after that uh, change. So, yay. Adding pheasants to Hirschfeld and anything added to Hirschfeld is a good thing because the population is too low, in my opinion. I'd be all about that. What's the starting weight of a diamond red deer? It can happen, I think, at 230. 232 is where it's fairly likely. And I think 233 and above is pretty much a guarantee. Okay. What tweez can I use? Not just twee. Just twee would have been good. Oh, that twee over there. Uh, oh, all these trees. Look at that. I like this. This is a really good system. That's really well done. I can just quickly be like, alright, this tree doesn't have any branches at the bottom, I want it here. 
put it kind of side on to where I'd want to shoot, because that's what I would do in real life, except actually I'd want it on this side, because I'm going all realism boy now. My whole point is, if I were sitting in this, I can shoot to my left with a bow, so I could be sitting this way and turn just my body and shoot left. Those would be the bow hunt, know what I mean? So that's there. We'll come back here in a little bit. Where else would be a good spot for a tree stand? Ooh, just like. Let's go there. Take a shortcut. Hey, Silverman. How are you doing? Do you think that scents will work better with the tripods and tree stains as you're higher up? And do they affect how much animals smell you? Uh, they should... I don't know if they affect how much animals smell you, but in general they'll affect how easily you're detected. So, I, I guess, yes, they should. I'm not certain of that, though. Have you ever... What? Have you in the beard? I, I think you're asking if I've ever hunted with Jack's beard. Yeah, we used to stream and stuff all the time. Back in the day when I didn't have the interwebs. There's the emojis. I like it. Being right-handed and trying to shoot more to the right is awkward. Yeah. Doesn't work real good. I think I'd have thrown a tripod somewhere. Because there's, like, reeds down here. I might just stick a tripod down there for a white tail shooting. Just woke up not too long ago. Noise. I'm good. I, uh, I got up, I don't know, like, 7 o'clock, I think? Started memeing around a little bit. Got my editing software set up. Then I saw this, and I was like, all right, forget about the other stuff. You could have placed a tripod in High Lake at that one break in the river where all the animals cross. Yeah, but I don't... Eh, it might be useful. I'm not sure how much of an advantage I'm going to get by being higher up. Maybe? I'm not sure if I want to put one here either. I need the Luke, but... I think tripods are actually going to be mostly useful... On, like, Verhunga and places where there's a lot of grass. There's some areas. Balmont might have some, some usefulness for tripods because you get, like, out here. You got a lot of reeds. That might be a spot we look at, but I'm going to go set up this other tree stand, so I'm going to have a little more room in my inventory. We'll go get a bow, probably a bigger gun if I can fit it. And then we can do a little more hunting, and I think I'm going to try to have a tree stand on me as well. Um... Once we get everything set up, or a tripod on me, rather. So we can try to use them. Shadow, thanks for the super chat. How's my day starting? Pretty dang good. Wake up to a Trailblazer beta and smoke some true elk. Couldn't really ask for much better. I was actually in a... I was in a weird spot where I was planning on doing the... A guide for getting a legacy diamond elk, or at least uh, elk guide in general. And in order to do that, I was going to have to do a quick video for tomorrow and edit today's video. But now, I'm just going to do this. I, I can pretty quickly make uh, tree stand, true elk, tripod content. So, I should be able to have that out by hopefully <sighs> like Sunday if I can. I think the beta runs till Sunday, so that should be decent timing for that to come out as well. How effective are the tripods and tree stands? I haven't had anything close. We're going to go test that out in a little bit, hopefully. Tree stands look pretty cool. The one thing is I feel like the seat platform isn't high enough. Like, it feels like it's too low. Do I still have one on me? Yeah. It feels <sighs> like, to me, you wouldn't be able to sit properly, but obviously you don't have to sit, so who cares? Uh, how do I say your name? Alizarin Vale, hopefully. Thanks for the super chat. What is your opinion on adding bighorn sheep? I want them. They has the cool horns. I'd like to see what they can they can do with the models in this game. I'm sure they could look incredible. When does the update hit PS4? It should be June 3rd. I think that's when all this stuff's dropping. I'm in school. Hey. Shh. Nobody alert the teacher. Uh, DJ Scrappy Dog, thanks for subscribing, man. Is my mic where I want it? Kinda. Trying to keep it out of the way of chat is awkward, to say the least. Head spinning so much, I just realized it's Friday. 
Yeah, this week went really fast for me. Probably because Monday and Tuesday I was busy, but it does not feel like a Friday to me. Hey. I graduate high school tomorrow. Nice. Gonna be one graduate boy. Going into the real world now. Uh, Aaron Furlong, thanks for subscribing. I just got a level 9 water buffalo 951. Nice. <laughs> First time in good stuff, man. How old am I? I'm 21. A horned minnow. I don't know what that is. Is that like a... a isn't that like a way bigger minnow than what you would normally think of a minnow? I think it is. I need a... A darn banner with the release dates and stuff. Yeah, Zaggy did that for the, uh... Was... What was the last beta? Trophy Lodges, I think. And, or no. It was just when they released way before console on PC. But then for, like, the replay, everybody watching this afterwards, there's just this, uh... Text going across the screen that's entirely useless and just taking up space. I don't like it. Though, to be fair, they also hear me answer it, like, 20 times, so... I don't know. Please notice me, Pappy. Have you heard anything about the clue no one's found? Uh, all I know is that there is a clue. That's about it. Had to go to a graduation this week, and now I have to go to one next week. All the graduations. Yeah, it's that time of year. Anybody that's that age, it's going to happen. Ethan Smith, was that who that was? It was. Welcome to the Super Schuster Club, man. I think you might have been here when I said it, but if not, uh, make sure you join the Discord if you aren't there. Link up your YouTube account to the Discord, and you'll get a special rule over there. Enjoy your green name and emojis, dude. And Angelique, how you doing? Is this your normal stream time now? Not really. Um, <laughs> the last stream was this time, because I had the stream with G-Man after that. And then uh, 80k just happened to be around that area, and then this... Uh, Trailblazer beta released, so that kind of just happened. But it's supposed to be later still. It's just, <laughs> it's happened this way for two in a row now. Thanks for the super chat, by the way. Dude, I'm gonna hang on. I'm gonna slow down here a sec. I gotta close this curtain, or I am going to go blind. <laughs> Holy. Hey. Yay. That might have been loud. It shouldn't have been. Okay. Uh, Jimmy Hockey, thanks for subscribing, man. Do I think Australia will be the next DLC map? I wouldn't be surprised. It seems like they're doing the whole continent thing, so... It wouldn't shock me. Just... Just updated my payment method. Okay. I got you. How do you know the different rack shapes? I mean... You just kind of see them and figure them out. I assume you're talking about legacy racks. If it's true racks, I mean, they kind of have rack shapes too, but... Yeah, I mean, just your experience. So, I know Whitetail are pretty much always right over there. So we're going to probably try that out. Follow my Twitch! Hey. What's up, Zaggy? Uh, Jackson Burns, thanks for subscribing, man. Shut it, Zaggy. <laughs> Gonna be one blind boy. Dude, it was really bright. Hello. It was, like, reflecting off my desk onto my monitor, and that was annoying me as well. Could also just... Oh, hello. Uh, yeah. Alright, I have a plan. <laughs> we are going to set up tree stand, spook him, let him come back, and then smoke him out of the stand, because that's cool. Uh, who was that? Alizarin again. Thanks for the super chat. Bighorn sheep, mule deer, pronghorn, elk, and cougar, please. There you go. I'm down for that. Give me all of the above. It's also kind of... That's not... Those are animals where all the above lives, but that's not what I meant. Probably one when the kid is your sleep. Oh, do you have the kid? Today. I did not know. This is so cool. This method is so well done. Okay, we're gonna be your eye here. Like this. And... Now we wait. 
I don't know how long it's going to take. In theory, that was two spooks because I spooked him by running at him and then I spooked him again when I set nah. up the stand. I'm not sure. Angelique, thanks for the super chat again. I thought I found a level five moose. It was a 933 level four biggest animal so far. Well, hey, it's still your personal best then. I know that feel. You see that big rack and think that's the one and then it's not. Big smoked. <laughs> Kyla hopes they add turkey so people stop talking about it. I'm. It seems weird to me how badly and how many people seem to want turkeys. Like, I. They're cool. You know, don't get me wrong, but. I don't think they're, like, imperative to me enjoying the game or anything. Got a question for you. Would you rather have New Zealand or Australia? Uh, I don't know enough about what the differences would be. One of the two in that area I'd be happy with. Either one. I thought that was him. Eh, maybe the platform is... I mean, if I'm crouching, that would be about right. I guess that's just the size of the platform that they've made. Maybe that's what makes it feel like the seat's too low. There's like little crackly sounds that I don't remember from before. Maybe it's because I never sit still anymore. Want someone to hit me with a bus? Not enough sleep last night or something? That don't sound any fun. I still just want to rock him out, Matt. Same. Give. Is he going to stop where I can't see him? He might be up there and out of sight. It's one of the bucks. I wanted him to come, like, right down here. There he is. So, I'm going to try to call them in real close and see when they get alert here. Imagine standing right on the edge of a tree stand like this. The thing is, I think that's the best way to allow movement and uh, not be unrealistic. I need to equip things again. Got a question. Would you rather have Whiteheart Island or White Rhyme Ridge? I'd take White Rhyme Ridge in this game for the the species variety, I think. Still feel like garbage and I was up until 4 a.m. coughing and sneezing. Are you sure you're not just, like, really sick? That does not sound good. I feel like whatever you said yesterday was maybe not the cause of that. Hey, Henry. Welcome back. We're well, looking... English countryside map to hunt with lots of animals to hunt. What all would be in that? I don't know. I'm going to keep this ready because I don't want to spook him again. But I want him to pretty much get as close as they plan on getting to this stand. So this is decent wind. Not a very big deer. At what point does he get alert? That is the question. Will this be a good addition with maybe arctic hares use rabbit color for lynx but no bunnies? Yeah, true. That would actually be nice. They used to have on Hirschfeld and Leighton the little, uh, like, non-harvestable rabbits and squirrels. Hey. But they got rid of all those. Francois, I'm not sure if that's how I say your name. I hope it is. Thanks for subscribing, man. Oh, it's an albino. Holy... I mean, that's... Who's making all that noise? That's easy bow range. 28 meters, but... I want to see... Because these does don't seem to notice me either. Make sure they get all the way in here. I want to see when... <laughs> once they spook, I can probably just shoot the buck. Because it kind of just seems like... I don't know if it's the terrain, but they're just slowing down like... What is that? 12, 15 meters away? They aren't alert, though. Hey. 
They'll get really close. This is so cool. You never got that opportunity before in this game to be up in a tree above stuff, other than in the the towers, and that just you don't have this ability to look like down and steal the deer. They just they don't care. I mean that one's right under me. It's gotta get that close before it spooks. He knows. So the bucks are gonna be a little smarter naturally, but bow hunting out of these will not be an issue. That is for sure. Hi. Jeez. Alright. So, we got that figured out. Noise little albino boy. Hey. I'd see you later. Um, I want to... If we go up here, we might be able to catch some elk quickly again. And also, that was my last stance. I think I can grab another gun. I thought at first it was a five bolt because my eyes were very tired. Ah, oh, I got you. It's all good. Okay. So, can I squeeze 338 and a bow? Probably not. Hmm. I want the collars if I'm going to use a bow. One of my options is to <laughs> switch up the perks and get the pack mule. Which wouldn't be a horrible thing. Because I want the 338 for the elk. I guess I don't need the most, and then I can just smoke everything, and if we see something big, we can call it into range. I think we'll do it that way. It's going to be weird not having the most, and I always have that on me. Uh, Who do we have? Hunter, Ewing, and Shafe. Thanks for subscribing, guys. Hey. Let's get this stuff set up here quickly. Do that. 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 And put these where they go. Alright. Didn't try to do that. Uh, come and kill. Thanks for subscribing, man. I need an energy drink in my life. Same, man. I think I've developed a routine that I like. They, at the local store here, I don't even know what they're called. They're body armor or something. They're just like, some kind of like flavored, fruit flavored um, drink thing that's, I don't know, kind of like Gatorade, but different flavors. And I just like go for a walk. Look at that guy. Why are we having crazier deer in this than in, in the real game? Uh, I, I go for a walk down there and just drink that on the way home. Get a little bit of exercise. It, it's good. You know, spend like $1.50 on one drink. That's not as good, but... It's worth it. What's an odd ad? It's like a, a neato looking sheep. I actually know anybody that watches the outdoor channel might have seen what what are they called? The bearded buck outdoors. I know those people. Um, they were just out in Texas and smoking odd ads, I think. Is the calling range further in the stands? I don't think so. And that's actually something that maybe they should look at because you are a little higher up. Your sound could carry a little better. I got to shoot this with a bow now. Because <laughs> I just fracking memed my Mosin. Alright. Get him on in here. On my way to vacation in Florida? Nice. Should be a good time. That's a way cooler deer than anything I've killed in the main game. He's all kinds of strange. Duckies over there. This is like the, uh... I think this is from the lion beta, like this save. So, all my duck blinds and everything are still set up and not glitched away. Tis nice. You do watch hey. Meat Eater? Gotcha. My dad smoked an odd at it seven yards with a bow. Holy! Uh, CC Blaze, thanks for subscribing, dude. How often do you hunt in real life? Uh, I mean, just when I can. That guy's kind of... Look at all the mass on his left side. Compared to the right. 
So many interesting deers. I wonder if on the beta there's more messed up looking racks to like allow them to <laughs> see them and make sure they're working as they should be. That could actually be a thing. Angelique Edge, thank you so much once again. Summer starts June 14th, so can watch your live streams and also got my first mythical 914. Nice. So what, like mm, two and a half weeks, something like that? Why you know come this way? That's not It's not nice. I don't know how to I don't know where to aim at that range. All your friends are over here. Try to crawl into 60, I guess. What's your favorite kind of Mountain Dew? Honestly, probably just normal. I'm not a huge fan of any of the others, to be completely honest. Could you please give a short explanation how to have all the stuff from your main account in the Trailblazer beta? I did a video on that. It was with the Lions. <laughs> I wish I could remember what I titled it. Something like how to get your save file main save file in the trailblazer beta or something but if you go back to the first lion videos it would be in that area uh on my channel but maybe one of the mods can find that and link that to you aaron eaton thank you so much once again if you got the chance to help develop or test future games with aw would you take it not saying you wouldn't do youtube anymore because i would be devastated if i couldn't watch you anymore yeah i think i would that i being that that was kind of what I initially was going to major in was, like, uh, software development. I'd be interested in that. Holy smoke team. Um, yeah, I'd love to do that. Even if I'm not actually coding it, just whatever role I'd be playing. As long as I was good at it. Or competent, anyway. I'd be pretty honored to, to take part in that. Right in the heart. <laughs> Calculated. Some crazy looking deer today. I wonder, do I even have a trophy lodge? Yes. Oh, I guess this is the same one as the trophy lodge beta then? Was there a trophy lodge beta? I don't recall. Hey. There was, right? I can't remember. I think there was. Okay, we're past elk drinking time show. Let's, well, we need to use it anyway. Let's go over here. Change the time back. And we're going to go test out that tree stand for bow hunting purposes. Uh, Mr. Worst, thanks for subscribing, dude. It's a good morning when I can watch most of Flinter's stream. Yeah, Silver usually doesn't get to to watch the whole thing. I was going to school or something. It's lame. Yeah, I guess school's important or whatever. <laughs> nice shot. Thanks. I definitely meant to do that. That was not way lower than I thought it was. I was actually aiming... I was trying to hit, like, one of the lungs and just did that by accident. Is the stand DLC out now? No, this is the Trailblazer beta, so the stand DLC will be June 3rd, I believe. I think I saw somebody say that in chat, so I'm pretty sure I'm not wrong. I don't think I've made things up. Was the Lion beta before or after Parquet? It was late January, I think, so after. Quayo. Gotta go before I go. All I say is shoot the diamonds. I will do my best. Catch you later, man. I wanna... I kind of want and don't want a diamond track elk. Obviously, I want one because it would be cool, but I don't want one because then I have to go find another one for... My lodge, eventually. I just realized that, yes, there was a Trophy Lodge beta because I shot a Diamond Elk in that. And a Diamond Blacktail, for that matter. Hey, Evan, welcome back. I was inspired by your passion and energy for your vids. Is YouTube your full-time job? Yes. Elk Whack. Small boy, though. Um, because I have always wanted to do what you do, but I'm not sure I can go full-time. Yeah, um, 
there was a lot that led up to me being full-time, including taking a fairly large risk in order to do so. Um, but hey. basically, I had been doing it for, I guess, two and a half years. And at that point, I was in college, pretty much just depressed with college and I kind of like hit this weird point where I knew I didn't want to do what I was majoring in. I had no idea what else I wanted to do and YouTube was the only thing I did and enjoyed at that point. So I just kind of dropped out of college, not necessarily fully intending on going full time on YouTube, but trying to give it a real shot and see if it was possible and the channel did well and yeah, we're at this point now, but yeah, um, I don't think... You know, it takes a lot of, uh, it, a lot goes into actually going full-time. It's not just dropping everything and starting a channel and going from there, you know? You gotta have your backup plan in place and all that stuff, because it might not work. That's the reality of literally taking any risk in life. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta be intelligent about it. There's the save file help. Look at Caleb being a real mod. What a guy. If I don't go to school, my friends will have no one to make them laugh. <laughs> wow. It's awfully pretentious, Silver. <laughs> Gotta head to work. Glad I was able to catch a little bit of the stream. Alright, later, man. Has a good day. Can you give a shout out to my bro, Kyler? You had open heart surgery and he loves your videos? Yeah. Open heart surgery sounds pretty serious. I don't know if he's watching right now, but if he is, hope you get better, Kyler. You got it. Big recoveries. I always loved your vids. They have so much content. It's incredible. Keep up the good work. I will do my best. I try to take advantage of the fact that I am full-time with it and have more time to put in than maybe most creators otherwise would. And actually... You know, try to pack them full of content when I can. I try. Doesn't always happen. Sometimes I'm one tired boy. I hope the white tail are going to be here. I'm going to actually place that on their thing so I know when to slow down. Cheers for the stream. First one that I've caught. Keep it up and good luck. Shushed some diamonds. We are going to try, dude. Glad you could make it to a stream, by the way. Have to go to practice graduation at 10.20. Are you in Eastern Time, boy? Is that about an hour? What is my favorite snack? Hmm. I think... Hey. One of my favorite snacks is... Uh, well, I was initially going to say... Venison jerky that my dad makes, but I'll, he, he makes like this... Uh, I don't know what it's a, a, I don't know if it's actually called snack stick stuff, but it's kind of like like a pepperoni stick sort of thing, yeah, but with venison, it's so good. That's probably my favorite. I get that like every couple of months. My dad will give me a, a baggie of it to take here, and I just eat it all in one night because I'm dumb, but it's good. It's worth it. Uh, Ufer Gang and John Hugh, thanks for subscribing, guys. I went past the blacktail. Yeah, yeah I know. I'm going to, I'm fully intending on shooting something out of this tree stand. And then we're probably going to go look for more true elk, maybe set up another uh, tripod or two. What I think we're going to do, actually now that I think of it, now that I really think about my life, <laughs> we're going to try to smoke something out of this stand with a bow. Then we are going to set up the last tripod or two that I have on me. And then we're going to start going around. I'm just going to carry like 10 tree stands because for some reason the game's set up that way that you can. Uh, and I'm going to find spots and put tree stands. I think bow hunting might very much be coming back to the channel in a strong way with these tree stands. Because they're just, it's going to be so viable. And also, diamond out of a tree stand sounds, holy cow, that hurt a lot. <laughs> diamond trees, diamond out of a tree stand sounds like something that has to happen. Oh, bad wind. Why wind bad? Why? 
We'll slow down. Sounds delicious. Anything, pretty much any kind of like deer jerky, deer bologna, any of that stuff is really good. But yeah. Have I missed much? Um, we got to test out the stands a little bit. We got an albino black tail out of a stand, which was pretty neat. We're just going back to a spot where we set up a stand earlier to try to smoke something with a bow. If nothing else, we'll get some black tail, it looks like. Um, and yeah, we got a crazy looking true elk. The, if you don't know, the true rack elk are in this trailblazer beta as well. So we got a pretty cool looking one. Can now do that because I don't need that waypoint. Okay. Whitetail are closer than I thought they were. That might be okay though. If they spook out of there and go where I think they will, which is like up around like that where they're going, we could just call them back. Might actually just sit here and smoke a bunch of deer. That could be fun. See how many dead deer we can get with the bow. I don't think a human can physically carry like 10 tree stands. Well, you gotta, you gotta eat your venison, get your protein, you know? So this is the one issue I have with tree stands. I noticed this in the, the thing. There's no like strap holding them to the tree and sometimes the model looks a little bit weird, but that doesn't break the game in any way. So I'm not going to complain. They seem to be functioning really well. Um, June 3rd isn't that far off, and as far as I can tell, they're going to be pretty good for release. I'm not seeing any issues uh, whatsoever with them. Unless there's trees that they're supposed to go in that they're not, that would be the only thing that I wouldn't realize. But as long as you're in an area with a lot of trees, it seems like they can go in a pretty good selection of them. I wonder if the whitetail are going to be far enough out that I can smoke a blacktail without them hearing it. It used to be like 50 meters, I don't know. I think a human can easily carry 10 tree stands. You just, like I said, you gotta, you gotta eat your protein, you know. Okay, so bad wind 40 yards out, they kind of know. 40 meters even. Got him. Somersault dead. Uh, doesn't look like the white tail or any the wiser. They have no idea. So other than my poor tree choice because of the wind, this isn't a very bad spot. But I, I want to try to sit here and take out a good, a good chunk of deer, just in the interest of seeing the hunting pressure change. You the best YouTuber, thanks, man. I'm out of town the week of the third. Oh no. How long are you going to be away after that? Hopefully you can get back and get to enjoy them. Not too long after. So. The one thing we can maybe rely on here is that I'm not calling him in. He is going to his zone. And they're a little less like aware of their surroundings when that happens. Hey. Hey. Nah. I needed him to basically be trotting in to have that happen. And he's not. Will you go broadside, sir? He should. Maybe now? Come on. Hey. That's kind of broadside. Smoke team. So these deer kind of hear it, but don't know. And probably the fact that I'm not as detectable because I'm in the tree stand is helping that. I would assume. So that's nice. Two deer down. Not much hunting pressure. Look at these guys coming back. Just trotting together. A couple of friendos. Flinter is love, flinter is life. Wow. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said about me. <laughs> We've also got the antlers from the trophy stags we've shot. Wait, what? Did I miss part of a conversation? Probably.
I'm going to try to focus on the buck since I have the opportunity. But... The does are going to be way easier because they'll naturally get closer. This guy doesn't seem to have a clue what's going on, though. He's just walking right in. Oh, the wind's actually getting better. Nice. This might get way more fun. Okay, that's three down. That one doesn't know what happened. That one doesn't know. This is so cool. Tree stands are actually going to be way better than I thought. I mean, in terms of grinding for money, tree stand DLC and a bow, like, you're good. It's just going to be... Because you're not going to delete the zone until you kill, I think, 11. So if you keep count, don't kill 11, you're going to be pretty good. Easy monies on water buffalo. I mean, anything you can call in is just going to multiply that effect. Hey. The wind is shifting, so we'll let the bucks get even closer. ADA Rodriguez, and I missed Wally Wallace. Thanks for subscribing, guys. Look at that guy coming right in now because of the wind. I don't know what is going past my apartment, but that sounds re What in the world? Somebody's brakes need fixed. I don't know if you guys can hear that. That sounded terrible. The let off on this bow must be really good because I can stay a full dropper forever. Not a perfect shoost, but a good enough shoost. This is going to be... I don't know if they're going to change it. I hope it kind of stays this way. They should probably increase the spook range a little bit, but this is going to be so overpowered for gaining money. Just meme herds of buffalo. You did hear that? All right. <laughs> like someone was dying. Something was dying. I think that was somebody's brakes. Gotta get that checked. I don't know about the water buffalo though, because unless you're shooting them pretty far away, you're gonna have the issue of they're not gonna come back to the exact same place in the zone. Okay, wow. 34 meters away he didn't spook? Didn't expect that. Okay. Why did you tilt like that? I didn't like that. Come back. Look how little hunting pressure there is for... I think minimum five kills? I don't know how many we have. This also might be huge meta for diamond respawns. Because we can just kill like every buck in the area and not have to worry about it. Had to go AFK for a while. Did I miss anything good? Uh, you know, we've just been sitting here in this stand. Smoking deer. A couple of dead boys laying around here. Just a couple. Hey, you got close. Ah. There's still at least one buck. Down one. He might be in one of those spots where he can't, like, get past that hill. Hey. Something needs fix. Yeah, something really needed fixed. Uh, Krista Martinez, thanks for subscribing. Gonna be overpowered. Yeah, Red Deer, you could kill so many. And, oh, you're so right, because the cash? That's gonna be... That might be the meta. The thing is, you gotta be level, what is it, 29 for the Red Deer collar? So that's the one downside, though you do it in multiplayer. You get your friend in another tree stand, sit there and call. Ooh. Hey. That's gonna be fun too. Having two two tree stands set up. Countdown shots, all that good stuff. That's a buck too. Another wonky looking guy. Let's see if I can get him to come up the hill. Uh, legendary. Thanks for subscribing. It's funny because my reaction to the word legendary is immediately like, that's a diamond. So, like, I saw that and had that tiny little bit of, like, <laughs> heart skip a beat thing. I'm not weird, you are. What is my favorite? Whitetail or blacktail? Whitetail because I hunt them in real life. That's my only real reason. I don't know if they're going to come up around the back of me. Yeah, they are. gonna 
Look at all these dead deers. Hey. I might as well let that bigger one get up here, because in theory he's going to spook further. I don't know if that's true. It might be. Could grind herds of Gimsbuck. Yeah, you could call them in as well. Uh, Sadie's 007. Thanks for subscribing, dude. Hope I got your name right. He's going to spook. I think. Bad wind and everything. Hey. Where is the four? I do not know. Is that him? No. Hmm. There he is. I don't know if I can get a shot by there. Probably can, but he's also not going to spook, so I'll wait. I think I'm going to have to do some, like, another realistic mode kind of thing where I turn off all the the overlay and all that helpful stuff. Because, like, watching a deer come through the brush and coming into the shooting lane, that just that makes me think of real life hunting immediately. It could be fun to do some kind of realist, realistic hey. thing, try to get here. Well, they, they actually, that could be really fun because they get here at 5, the Blacktail do, for their drink zone. So I could just go out hey. in the dark, again like you would in real life, sit there and wait, and they should get here not too long after daylight. Could be fun. Uh, Dave Pay and other oh, three. Tristan Yantis dead. I'm not sure if I got your name right. Sorry, man. And Outdoor Bros. Thanks for subscribing, guys. Can I get two? That's not a buck. I'm glad I missed that. I thought it was a buck. It was not a buck. Anyway, I think you get the idea. This might be a good way to lose consec, but, you know. A thousand cash per blacktail? I don't know how long we were sitting there, but pretty much just got 7,000 cash for 10 minutes. Hey. Couple of decent little deers. Maybe 8,000. How many deer do we kill? Maybe more than I thought. All the bucks. Is this the four? Yeah, it's that kind of wonky looking guy. Should have kept track, but I didn't. I know two ran. I've got tracks off, so it would be pretty obvious if it was glowing around here. I think we hit all the spots. Okay. So, there's a bunch down there too, but we'll leave those for now, I think. So, two things. We're going to quickly go down here again and see if any elk are across the water now. Must kill a diamond from a tree stand today. I want to. <laughs> I hope to be able to do that. When's that on console? It shall be June 3rd, I believe. That is the current release date. No new elk. Okay. I've never seen them drink here in the morning. I'm going to check here quickly since we're fast traveling around anyway. Oh god. Caleb has pizza at 10 a.m. Somebody go make him stop. It's going to do bad things. Eelk. It's a female eelk, though. So maybe they drink here in the morning? But are there any true eelk? A lot of times they're, like, up there. There's a true eelk. Ooh. That guy's a little wonky. Not too insane, but probably less symmetric than I would like unless I've gotten kind of lucky in having two weird ones.
Yeah, I killed seven or eight, I think. Just no pressure. It's... It's a big good. It's gonna be crazy overpowered for money grinding, level grinding. I think, like I said, respawns for diamonds. Like, you set up over a herd of whitetail. Kill every level two there. Maybe you do that in four different herds. Any of the pressure... Look how tiny that guy is. Any of the pressure from the first one is gonna be gone by the time you've shot the fourth herd. So you just repeat the process. Like, you're bound to get diamonds to respawn, I think. I almost want to shoot the tiny one, but I won't. Been up for five hours, my body says lunchtime. Wow. What a guy. Smoke team. I wonder if a tripod or a tree stand would be useful here. Do I have a tree stand? Nope. Uh. I don't think a tripod would be that useful. We'll probably try to put it somewhere else. B. Fortin, thanks for the super chat, man. What map will you probably use deer stands on most? I think this one. Um, Parquet and Hirschfelden for red deer. It's going to be crazy monies. Holy cow. What's all the people driving past here making all kinds of noises today? Uh, I don't think for Hunga I'm going to use them very much. Mostly tripods there. Springbuck, Wildebeest. Get better looks at them. And probably same with Medbed. Mainly tripods. That was a gold. I mean, he's fairly symmetric. I don't know what I don't like exactly. Something about it I'm not a huge fan of, but we're mounting him anyway. Okay. And another quick one we can check is going up through Calburn. I think here is a drink stone. Uh, Labant, thanks for subscribing, man. Head finally stopped spinning. Yay. More true boys. Ooh, that's a big one. Spotting ducks when I could go shoot a true elk. What am I doing? True blacktail, too. So, what I'm trying to figure out is... Is there any legitimate reason for me to... Put a tripod here? I don't know if they actually give you a, uh... Does anyone know if they give you a weapon sway benefit? I don't know the answer to that. The thing is, I don't see... Oh, tracks is a good idea. I don't see much of a reason to have them set up in places where I can see just fine. I feel like over in Balmont and stuff is going to be more useful. Hey, Dawkins. More true elk back there. That dude's kind of wonkier than I thought, actually. Gonna try to get in here a little closer and smoke that level four. I want to see what a true diamond elk looks like. Yeah, man. Same. I want to get a crazy looking diamond elk as well. Like, I want one super, like, nice-looking symmetric one, and then just a ridiculous one. Kind of like that first one we shot. So this should be smaller than the first one, I think. Accidental spinal cord shots are accepted. Woke up, woke up too fast. Nope, still can't say it. Woke up and moved too fast. I do that all the time. It's not good. Gives you the big oofs. The good thing is, I was talking about um, making like a, a bit of an elk guide for anybody that's looking for a legacy diamond rack. I'm halfway working on that now by checking out these spots that I don't always go to in the morning, and I'll be able to add them to the list when I do the video. Jable, thanks for subscribing, man more pizza. In the case of almost every elk being wonky, too much of a good thing is a bad thing. I agree. Okay, that was way more rig ridiculous than I thought. Like, this should be a rarity. It definitely... Look at his mouth. It's leading the way his antler is. It definitely should happen. 
but it should be almost up there with like piebald albino um, amounts of rarity. I thought that was a piebald for a second. That would have been awkward. I think there's probably another elk drink zone if we go up here a little further. So we'll look. Blazing the trails on behalf of the entire community. How are Te first impressions? They're good, man. The the tree stands have really impressed me. We just sat um we just left it. We sat in a tree stand for maximum like fifteen minutes, dropped like eight deer. This is the hunting pressure that resulted. It's not much. It's uh it's gonna be crazy overpowered for any kind of grinding the game, respawns, all them good things. Gonna make my life a little easier in fast travel here. I know elk go up here, but I think it's usually females. I don't have anything to shoot them with anyway. I don't know why I'm bothering. The duckies, that is. It's like up here somewhere. Or actually over there is where I'm thinking of. I don't see any right now, though. There's a crossing. Um, right up here. And they travel on that. And then they'll drink over there. I'm not too worried about finding one particular herd that I don't even know if it exists, but I want to check. Gotta go, shoot the big one. I shall try, man. Catch you later. Got my first two diamonds the other day. Nice, dude. What'd you get? The big males. How many tree stands do you get when you buy the DLC? Uh, I don't know if you get any, actually. I don't know if they said. They're like 15,000 a pop, and you can put, I think, 32 of each per map. So, 32 tree stands, 32 tripods, if I'm understanding correctly. That's a lot of stands. So, that's a lot of money. Finally gonna have something to use all my monies on, anyway. Rip being a $3 million boy. Okay. Uh, over here is a good spot for elk, actually. Should check these lakes. I only have one legacy thing. Ducks. I don't know if you're saying legacy diamond or not, but you definitely have that. I commented on your 80k stream the other day about rushing my exam to watch and I get 87%. Sounds pretty good to me. I don't know if that's, uh up to your standards, but if you rushed through it and did that well, good work. Yeah, gotta make all the monies. I mean, the cool thing is you buy one stand, you can <laughs> nearly pay for it if you, or pay for another one if you just sit in the stand for a little bit. As long as you place it in a good spot. Uh, Trailblazer, thanks for subscribing, man. Springbuck in level 4 Kudu, nice. Couple of Verhunga Dwemons. Why ignore me? I don't try to, man. I think they said three of each? I heard 32. I didn't hear it from the source because I didn't watch the stream. I heard it from Sean, so blame Sean if I'm wrong. I'm going to see how many tree stands I can get set up during the course of this. Although I'm not sure how much time I'm going to actually spend doing that. I may do that after the stream because I may end up spending this entire time looking for true elk because... Let's be honest. That's the interesting thing right now. Uh, Daniel Cooley, thanks for subscribing, man. Shot a 1,000 screen buck. Those are scary boys. You gotta be careful going after stuff like that, man. We're pushing it with the time we're up here. I hope that we get to hit all these lakes without having to go back and reset the time because uh, one of these two is really good I want to make sure I get to that 
But this one tends to be pretty decent. Oh. Bunch of cal ilk. A lot of times I'll get bulls like over there. But I don't see any this time. Unless there were some hoiding. I have an idea, by the way. You just got a level four diamond meese? Do you has a screenshot to put in the Discord? I'd love to see that. I've kind of always figured it was possible, but I've never seen physical evidence myself. So my idea is... Can I rotate? Yes. Right click, left click to rotate if anybody's doing this. That's going to spook everything, but I want to have that there for future shootings. Go hit these quick. Uh, do I still have... I don't. No more structure, so we'll have to grab more when we go back. Oh, three of each free. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well then, I guess that's the answer to that. If you buy the DLC, you get three tree stands, three tripods. My brother's wondering what is mustier minimum diamond weight. So, I think like 15.8, 15.9, they can make it. A lot of times that's level two. Um, a couple of people have had level two diamond mustier, including myself, around that weight. But like 16, 16 16.1 is pretty much a guarantee. Keep doing you love the hunter videos. I will do my best, man. I tell you what, the the developers make it pretty easy on me when it's always like I'm just at a point where I'm like, okay, I need to do something else. Cause like, uh, parquet. I grinded the trophy lodge for a long time. Got to the whole um the the lodge on the map being done. Got the diamond red deer finally, and then I kind of just started my looking for a diamond of every species thing. And I was getting really sick of that. And then like, oh, hey, there's lions. Go shoot lions. Okay, I'll go do that. And then we got, what was after that? Um, Was Lodges the next update? It may have been. Either way, we got Lodges and I'm like, I'm getting pretty close to a point where I've got most of what I want with the the old animals for lodges, the legacy animals. There's Truex. I'll go hunt Truex. And we're going to get a new Truex animal every update, basically. So around once a month, something like that. So that's going to be pretty hot. Going to have something to do. You know, like I said, once a month, something like that, we'll get a new animal to go after. Got the tree stands and tripods. I imagine we're going to have a new map in the next three to four months. Just this could be entirely wrong, but just based off the, the pace that we used to get maps, Seems fairly likely. Just shot a thousand diamond white tail T-Rex and albino 982 in the same herd. Holy! Get them screenshots in Discord, boy. That's hot. Still only have one diamond in my parquet Fernando Lodge. A duck. Didn't you get your buffalo since lodges? Or have you not put it in there? Weapon pack too, right, right, right. So we had the Mosin to to go enjoy and learn all the new integrity and all that. That was a big thing, actually. Almost relearning the game with double lung shots and all that fun stuff. Ooh. Close. Could possibly be a five, but would not be Bing enough. Bing enough? Bing Crosby. Big enough. I'm not sure we're going to make it to the last lake. It depends on how many distractions we get between here and there, probably, but... Tis not certain. My cat fell in love with a tennis ball. Send picks. 
You got a 995k buffer the other day? Nice. I'm pretty happy with that whatever I shot, 980 something, but I'd like to get a really huge, like, 990s Cape Buffalo like that. Would be pretty neat. I don't even know if I ever get elk at that lake. I've had some good-sized blacktail. We had that 87 kilo track. I shot an albino down here, so I usually try to check there, but need to hurry up if I want to get to that lake, if they even are drinking there. It's in your big lodge. Oh, okay. I think it should increase the number of different species for a map instead of creating new maps. I don't necessarily. I see what you're saying, but the issue that I would have with that is you're going to end up with a lot more species that are like coyotes and red fox that you don't see a lot of and that's going to happen to species that some people like to hunt so say i really enjoy hunting the whitetail or the reindeer or i don't know red deer on parquet you start to add a lot more species the only thing you can do is reduce some of the ones that are already there because the game can't handle having you know thousands of animals on the map it might have a thousand there's a lot but you're gonna get like an overflow so, they have to reduce others, and I don't like that idea. I think they've done a pretty decent job with populations of most things. Moose are kind of overdone. Um, that's the main one. But, yeah. That would be my issue. I wouldn't mind, like, Red Fox on Layton, Turkey on Layton, Mule Deer. You could do that, but I think new maps are maybe a better option. Got a picture in a pet tab? All right. I shall go finds. Uh, John Watson, gotta go. We'll catch up later. Shoot them all. I will do my best, man. Catch you later. You said 87 kilo could be five. Uh, not would be. Could be. I remember it from... That was a... Hey, that's a big boy. It was a legacy rack one, of course. But we had an 87 kilo level 5. It can happen. Tis not common. That's got to be the biggest one we've seen, I think. He looks physically larger to me. I'm going to... I think what I'm probably going to end up doing is setting up a tree stand on literally every single lake on this map if I can. Maybe two on lakes like this that are big. Kill all the stuff. Hope I don't mess this up, but... Try, oh, did I spook him? Or is he just... Yeah, he's just stepping forward. So that left antler, his left, the right one, like our right side, that looks nearly perfect. Perfect in the sense that if they were both like that, it would be like a legacy rack. Which is interesting. I kind of like that that's a thing. Because that's not a thing with the whitetail or the blacktail. You can't get the same antler. They don't... They, they're they different. That looked much the same as a level 4. Uh, Winter tree stands officially out June 3rd. My brother is also wondering, does the Mosin give integrity on musk deer? It does not. 223, 45, pistol, 357. Uh, 300 grain, arrows them things how thick is this boy yep that's the biggest one 914 that almost has to be like a diamond antler there and a gold antler like look at the mass difference that's nuts there's an 11 inch main beam difference and the left antler has 18 inches more worth of tines. Circumference is somehow similar? I guess it kind of is. This one's just more flat looking. That, though, is a big male. He was half grown, yeah. Halfway there. Maybe not a prayer. Anyway. 
The only thing we can hope if we want to get to that lake on time is that they drink till 9.30, which they could. We can hope. I feel ignored. I don't try to, man. I try to keep up with the chat. I also try to not just gloss over things when I answer them, so. Holy. Bunch of elk up there. All famales. That's probably a... Yeah, that could be nine. It is nine. They're going to leave there in a moment. Uh, Yopos? I'm not sure if I'm saying your name right. Hopefully I am. Welcome to the Super Schuster Club, man. I appreciate you joining up. If you don't know, you can link your YouTube to your Discord and get a special rule over there. So Discord link is in the description or a mod can probably throw it in chat. And yeah, there's instructions in the info tab of how to do that. But welcome, man. Enjoy your green name and emojis. Display him with his right side so more. I'm sorry, Dad. It was it wasn't there in time. I did say it right. Sweet. I don't get it right very often, so <laughs> it's an accomplishment. Trailblazer available on console? Unfortunately, not. Uh, setting up betas on console and working with other companies, Sony and Microsoft, is difficult. On Steam, that's not a requirement, so they can do it much more easily. There's the Discord. When you spend all your time drawing a character and you have to add another character in front... Oh, oof. <laughs> Covering a bunch of it. I'm goosing right now. I haven't spotted anything but level 1s. That was an old bug. Actually, I think it is still a bug in the game. Basically, uh, something happens with geese where they don't respawn properly. Check the weights when you shoot a level 1. If you're getting weights like 1 kilo, 0.1 kilo, negative... Then your glitch and incentives done a video on how to reset your population file. Hey. That's pretty much the only way to solve that. Um, unfortunately, that does delete some zones, not all of them. So I think it probably makes your map a little bit worse until you get them back. Maybe. I'm not sure if that's even true. I'm just guessing there. And um, sadly, it's only doable on PC. I don't think you can access your foils on console. But yeah, that might help you out if you're on PC. Uh, David Nystrom, thanks for subscribing, man. Watch my loadout with her or for Hirschfeld with the Mosin. I've been doing seven mil because I just brain shot Bison if I go for it. Uh, Mosin for Fallow and Rodier and uh, Wild Boar as well. Two shot the Wild Boar usually. That's that's my uh. My go-to there, and then I bring the 45 pistol for Fox. If I'm really hunting Fox, I'll bring the 223, but the 45 does pretty well. And then I bring the 22 for Geese. Really, only works if you have the the what am I trying to think of? The Geese blinds set up, because otherwise, currently the Geese aren't visible. But I'm guessing that fix should come with the tree stand update as well. I think TK said they knew about it. Man Kelly, welcome to the Super Shooter Club, man. I know you've been around a while, so you probably know the drill. But if not, I don't even... I think you're in the Discord. Well, hey. if you aren't, I think you know where to find it. Link is below. Uh, link up your YouTube and Discord accounts. Get that special rule over there. Enjoy your green name and emojis, man. Uh, Josh Garrett, thanks for subscribing, dude. Hey, Sean. Have you smoked any tree elk yet? Silver's on the ball. <laughs> they said to put a clue and it was really hard to find. They, yeah. I mean, I've been pretty focused with, uh... I mean, I've kind of been all over all the maps, but I always go to, like, lakes and common areas, so 
If it's somewhere uncommon, I'm probably never going to see it. Still waiting for a community post from somebody. Be like, this is it. And we'll all be like, holy. If there were elk here, they have moved on. Big sad. That's it. We're going to go here. Going to reset time again. What is the beta code? It's call the wild. All one word. The C and the W are capital. They always use the same code. It's the same as the one before. So we change this again. And we also... Mm, timber. Okay. We also... Bye. Wait. Okay. Many of these. Just gonna carry 20 tree stands because I can. One big strong boy. So let's go down here first because it's a bit more of a run. I don't know if they're gonna be there. I don't always catch elk down here. But I do pretty much always catch them here. So. I just want them to have time to move into that zone. Shoost! Melon lipstick. We need to find a melon lipstick. True boy. That would be hot. You're on the Discord? I thought so. Why does time fly so fast? I only got 10 more minutes. What do they say? Time flies when you're having fun. I don't know who's having fun, but somebody is. Is that an elk? It is. But it's a famale. Can you fast travel to the stands? No, you do have to to walk to them, but you could use the tent DLC to your advantage, but fast traveling to a tent spooks everything within, I think, 150 meters, so that is a part of that equation. You gotta factor that in when you're trying to choose your placement. But let's say... Oh, let's just say you were trying to hunt deer that have a zone right here. Usually blacktail and whitetail both will use this general area. So if you had a tree stand in... I don't know. Is there a big enough tree down there? Let's just say this stand would work. You would just put a tent like up on top of this hill and walk 150 meters. Okay, everything but elk are here. That's what we wanted. Go shoot them. We're gonna try. We're gonna smoke as many smokes. Well, let's not put it that way. We're gonna smoke as many deers as we can. There's a little gold rhino holding up books in the lodge, but that's been there. I think that's been there since before they said the clue was out, if I remember correctly. I feel like that was an older thing. Unless maybe that was the point. That it's a clue that's actually been there. This is kind of unfortunate, but... I kind of just want to see if I can put a tree stand down here. Oh, something's bigger back here. Or... Is it? No, it's a blacktail. That sounded like a thick boy. Fast traveling to the tent doesn't spook just placing. I think fast traveling, or maybe it's when you leave. Fast traveling definitely spooks stuff, but I don't know if it's going to the tent or leaving from it. Or at least it used to. I'm sick, I'm going to sleep. Can't blame you. Rest is a good idea. Okay. Uh, that didn't work. 
kind of have to have them equipped. Where could I put a tree stand? Most of these trees are smaller than I thought. Oof. Getting kind of tired of all the Verhunga animal updates. Fair enough. Mm, yeah, probably not going to put one down here then. Newt's going to work. They said fast traveling spooked in classic, not Call of the Wild, but it doesn't in classic. It definitely does not. It. I don't know if it still does. But I literally have video evidence of fast traveling to a tent and spooking a moose that was like 150 meters away. It's in a video. I don't know. It was like one of the early... Hi. It was like one of the early uh, bow hunting for diamonds. I think. I didn't even know where it was. Was this lake? I used to have a tent like here. Moose was over here. Fast travel to it, spook the moose. So whether it was my action of leaving the spot that was near it or going to the spot that was near it, something spooked it. I didn't get close enough to spook it otherwise, so it had to be the fast travel action. Even if they're endangered, not realized they could add rhinos. Yeah, there could be some backlash, though, that I'm sure they're aware of. A lot of people wouldn't really be... Too happy with that. We thought that with lions too, though, so. Could be wrong. <laughs> We're just here for new content. Fair enough. I want to test your theory, because I also think I've spooked animals by fast traveling uh, when I was doing whitetail herd management. Going to Diamond Albino Bull Elk? Yeah, yeah, let me just go do that real quick. That's the plan. I don't know if it's going to happen. I want a Diamond Wabbit. Don't we all? Those aren't elk. They're supposed to be elk. They're not elk. Heck. Hmm, where else is a decent elk spot? Right up here. Uh, Barbus. Welcome to the Super Schuster Club, man. Oh, I was talking to you on Discord. I knew I recognized that uh, picture somewhere. Well, then I know you're in Discord. If you don't have it linked up already, you can link your YouTube to your Discord. There's directions for that in the info tab. Get that special rule over there. That's a decent mail. Appreciate you joining, though, man. <laughs> and look at back. Thanks for the super chat. Always appreciated. Just because you're so helpful with the community. Well, thank you, man. Quacker boy. Just now. What? All right. I have proof that don't I have a blind 20 meters from a duck set up? I don't think ducks work the same though. I really don't. I think they're on some kind of different spooking pattern or whatever. Like I said, they could have changed it, but it absolutely used to spook stuff. I wish I had a tent closer to a known zone. I mean, up here, but they're far enough away that it wouldn't matter. Hey. 
Went for a 300 yard straight on headshot with my 270 on a diamond whitetail last night. Got lucky and missed the head and got spinal cord. Nice. What do they say? Better be lucky than good. Or rather, even. Words are hard. Do you still think red deer calls are a hint? I'm not entirely convinced that TK wasn't trying to throw me off. <laughs> not entirely convinced. This is a good elk spot and also somewhere I can put a tree stand now that I think of it. Killed my first albino water buffalo. Nice. Do you have them in a place of honor in the trophy lodge now? Probably. So if we go around this way, it shall be better. Prove me wrong, boy. I want to be proven wrong, but I mean, that's just going to be that much more like classic because like I said, it doesn't spook animals. You can fast travel to a tent, and as long as you're not, like, standing up, anything very close, you can get brown in time to not spook. Got my would have been thousand score way till the other night. Accidentally took a shot with the wrong rifle and ruined it. Still looks good in the lodge. I know that feel, man. I've done that too. But yeah, it's a nice thing about the lodge. You still got the. The same antlers. Tis nice. Smoked a diamond in a level 4 albino wildebeest out of the same herd yesterday. Why couldn't they have spawned as the same animal? Somebody did have a level 4 diamond wildebeest once. It's like a 951. Matching the big, the big horn level 5. Albino wildebeest, that would be hot. I want. Anyone in the Discord server that has killed Melanistic Lion? I think EW actually confirmed that doesn't exist. Pretty sure. See, this is going to be weird because the wind's bad. And also that hill. That'll be a bit of a problem. My friend got a zero score of female black buck last night. Perfect. Ah. Can't do any better than that, man. Look back. Thanks for the super chat again, man. I have five diamond cape buffalo? Nice. All the diamonds. Uh, I think we only have one option here. Well, I could call him, but I'm not going to do that. Did I get him? Yep. He's dead. Later, Silver. Enjoy your day. How good are the elk racks? I mean, like the others, there's some, some flaws, but for the most part, I'm pretty happy with them. There does seem, again, to be a little too much emphasis on... What is that? Axe head? I think. There seems to be a little too much emphasis on asymmetry, which maybe that can be toned down, but for the most part, I'm pretty happy with them. We're going to try to throw a tree stand around here somewhere to you. Oh, that was you? Yeah, that's true. That was you. Well, then... I guess you already know what that's about. That one's kind of ugly. Seriously lacking tines there. I'm seeing a lot of this though. One beam going a lot more up and one curling a lot more around. Hmm. Interesting. My options are limited here. Guess we're going back here. 
Looks like there were other elk I didn't see, though. 422, 437. Hey, nothing huge. Put that. I wonder if the height actually matters. Can I see well out of this? Well enough, anyway. I just wanted something over this zone. Here I come back. You sent me a PM showing what he W you said. Okay, but... <laughs> I'm just saying. They might not be referring to... I'm gonna find it. Oh, never mind. It's an audio thing. I thought it was a screenshot. I think the pre Truax elk look better than the true elk. Uh, I mean, yeah. I think that about... Well, the blacktail are actually kind of better with the Truax because they are more realistic sized. But I kind of think that about the whitetail as well. The thing is, it's that variance. And as I've been saying since the... Like, before Blacktail and Whitetail Tracks were released. I can only hope that they are willing to improve as they go. Because if they are, then small tweaks here and there could really make a huge difference. Where was that Elky boy? I frog it. Kind of like a Wadale. Some whale. Hmm, he's just behind stuff. Well, we're going to try to shoot him on our way over. Did screen recording? What happened to the tip jar? Ah, I just removed it from the screen. I figured it was taking up valuable space. I don't see him. But I'm thinking that tree could be really hot for a tree stand. If it works. Uh. The thing is, they're fairly likely to call back, so... The fact that he's not calling back, maybe I spooked him already? I don't know. Uh, looking back, thanks again, man, for the super chat. What's your biggest white tail in real life? My dad shot a 25 point in Wisconsin, and I got an 8 point last year. Nice, dude. I'm not sure if you're in Discord, but if you are, I'd love to... Oh, he is over there. I'd love to see some uh, pictures of those. My best was a 9 point I got with my bow in 2016. There is a picture of that in Discord. Uh, the Great Outdoors tab, and then there's the Flint Rose Buck channel, just because people used to ask all the time. Hey, Aaron. Your choices hadn't loaded in yet? What? What do you speak of? He sure isn't cooperating. How do we get tree stands? Uh, you can opt into the Trailblazer beta if you're a PC player. There, I think Zaggy did a video of how to do that for trophy lodges. And it's the same concept, same code and everything. Um, but, yeah, unfortunately it's only on PC. Where are you? Maybe I really did spook him. I wanted to kill that on my way, because he'd be a gold at level 4, but... 
I also really want to go set up that tree stand over there. So, I'm going to do that. And maybe we'll see him on our way back. Just took a test. It was pretty badly written. Ah. That's no fun. Will it go in that tree over there? It'll go in that one. Ah, will it not go in the big one? That's unfortunate. Just in case. Nah, I won't. That's right. I want to be able to... There we go. Wow, that one's not... It's very finicky. Wanted to be able to see kind of out over the water on that one. It's got most of uh, this lake covered, though. A couple of elk zones. Did I go to High Lake? I don't remember. I don't think I did. Us console players are big sad. Yeah. I wish they could include you guys on more of those, because obviously there are differences with... PC and console and things that are not getting as vigorously tested, but like I said, there's not much they can do having to work with Microsoft and Sony to make that happen. I don't know if elk drink over here. I know they feed over here, so I'm gonna go look. They also rest over here. Been stuck at a train track for an hour while it backs up and pulls forward. <laughs> what are you doing? That doesn't sound like much fun. Watching a train slowly move. Big mail. I don't even have a tripod that I could set up here and use. There's some elk. Just not the antlered variety, sadly. Maybe there will be more up here on the end, then. What I miss? Uh, I mean, we've shot a, a good chunk of Turak Elk, got an albino blacktail out of the tree stand that we set up, took a look at tripods. I don't know if we shot anything out of a tripod. We might not have. No, we definitely didn't. But, yeah. It's been... Pretty good, actually. I haven't had a single problem. Leaving on an all-inclusive golf trip on Sunday morning. Three days of unlimited food, booze, and golf. Noise. That sounds like a fun time. I don't know if I'll see you before then, so if not, enjoy. Have a good time. Been waiting for them to fix the slow motion thing for months. I even got a new PS4 and bought the game again and it still broke. See, I don't understand, like, how only some people are getting that. It's at least one male. Like, that's the part that doesn't make any sense to me. It's gotta be... There has to be something causing it. Because there's more than one person. But I don't know what it would be that not everyone's getting it. Well, I should have been worded better. Was it something I said? See, that guy's pretty uneven as well. There's a lot of that. And like I said, I am going to be hopeful that that's because it's a beta and... You know, they want more of the wonkier acts to make sure they're working properly, but... Little... Actually, a lot too many of them are not very symmetric. Stop. Smoked him. PS4 game for me sometimes lags and makes me go at snail speed. Yeah, I think that's what 
is uh, being referred to there, but it's like constant. Males. Probably gonna try to go figure out where that is. Hand him the smoke, and then likely call it a stream. There's a four over there. Could go get that. Do we go do that? Seems intelligent. Go smoke that. I'm probably gonna turn on the air conditioner in here because it's getting. Thick hot. Set up a bunch of tree stands. Go make a video or two. A little bit later. Sounds like a fun day. These constant non-tip elk are making me oof. Yeah, like I said, I'm hopeful that it's a beta thing. I'm definitely gonna... I think after this, I'm gonna see if I can... Uh, send a message to TK and ask him if he knows. He probably can't tell me that information, but... At least if I can get some feedback there like there is a lot too much asymmetry happening here maybe they can reduce a bit of that because it is definitely too much no no how did that go over there <laughs> trying to put it this way am i way closer to it than i think i am or what's going on i'm confused somewhat help be leaving big sad yeah i don't want to go too much over two hours uh because i think like these kind of things a lot of people probably want to watch them on the replay because of course not everybody gets to catch it live and it's early stuff so i i'm somewhat conscious of that but also like i said it's hot in here i'm sweating i want to get the room cold down he is still there not for long though i think he knows we're here does he Oh, he's probably just leaving his zone, actually. This could be hot. I have an idea. We're going to be big cool boys for this one. Did I get... Yeah. If he's pathing right over this way, anyway. What do you hunt with in real life? I use a 30-30. I used to use a 243, though. 243 is a pretty dang good deer gun. Then they'll make it look good and people will be complaining they aren't. Well, you can't please everybody. That's the unfortunate thing. Oh, he's still going to drink there. All right, then. Unless he's feeding now. Nope, still drinking. Well, then. I'm going to have to hand him the smoke. After he picks his head up. Like, I really like the look of this rack. It does look good, but there's too many of these. Missed the heart. Oof. Can 89.66 kilo be a diamond? Probably not anymore. Uh, unless it's uh, the old... Like, if it's from before trophy lodges. Like, if it's been around that long on your population file, then yeah. That's the only way. Go see a wait on this. This couldn't have been that heavy 430 eh, 439 close how's the stream been pretty good we actually we got an albino we got to sit in a tree stand and smoke like seven or eight deer with a bow um got a bunch of true elk i mean we got a pretty dang good look at everything that's been introduced i like this effect that they have but like i said it's too common it does, it's neat. A little bent tide. So, we're gonna quickly hop to... I don't know why I have... Maybe I just made three lodges to see if I could. I'm gonna go to this one and hope there's nothing in it. Keep streaming, I love the vids, I wanna watch more. I can't keep streaming right now. It sounded like I was moving in here, what the heck? Anyway, um, I am going to hopefully get to stream later on Twitch. So, I hope to have more streams anyway. Okay, that would have been... Yeah, this is the crazy wonky one. I think. 
yeah. He looks less insane from some angles, but you can really see it there. How much of that time go or that beam goes down. I mean, they do look pretty dang good. But the, yeah, to find as many odd as I did, there just needs to be significantly less. We'll do in here since we have more Goldie boys. Uh, okay, I thought that was elk size. I think I've got just enough elk for that and that and for the memes yeah let's just keep it all in one room I don't want to be having stuff in every room Got a little lodge going for the the beta, which I think is only till Monday or Sunday night. I'm not sure. But yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. See, that one looks pretty good. Yeah, I mean... There's a lot of... There's a lot of decent looking ones. And if this was a rare, like that looks... It actually looks really cool. It looks good, but... It can't be as common as it is. Anyway, I'm going to get this room cooled down before I die. Thank you guys for hanging out. Um, like I said, I'll probably be live on Twitch later. Twitch.tv slash Gaming. if you want to go get that a follow. Uh, get notification when I go live. Hopefully, I will see you there. So, bye!